All right, it's your boy CB, man. Um, shout out to the Falcons, man. Um, you know, clearly after this game, or you know, basically throughout the whole season, um, they've clearly been the, you know, the leaders of our division. You know, been playing like the best team in the division. Um, you know, and it showed today. You know, their offense is hitting on all cylinders. Um. You know, and they, they looking good right now. I hate saying that, but um, like I said, I'm real about my shit. You know, I don't, I'm not no fake nigga putting on no fronts and, you know, just to try to make my boy sound good or some shit. You know, um, I'm just being real. You know, them boys is definitely bad at this year. And, um, you know, they're going to be a factor in the playoffs. Hated it, hated it, love it. Um, you know, I hate it, but, you know, that's just what it is. Um, you know, we had a chance to compete with them for the division. You know, we, um, you know, lay eggs, folded up like some bitches. And, um, you know, and today we, you know, I, I'm just glad we fought. But I'm glad this shit, I'm just glad the season is over, man. You know, I'm just tired of all the stress and shit, man. I told you. I'm a die hard to the fullest, you know. You know, I take time out my day and week and stuff to do this. I'm not on here to, you know, for this other retarded ass shit. I I never understand, but um, you know, I just like to talk football and you know keep it real. But um, like I said, these boys been balling the ass off, you know, basically the whole year, and. They're going to get a first round by along with the Cowboys. So, you know, um, they're capable of beating any of the remaining teams that's um, underneath them. You know, the two wild card teams, they're capable of beating those guys. Um, you know, even though I think the Giants, you know, if the Giants play the Cowboys, I really do think the Giants going to pull that one out because they got their number. But, um. You know, regardless, man, um, we had a chance to make them play next weekend. Now they get to get, you know, two weeks to rest, and now we get to watch, um, you know, a team in our own division possibly be playing in the NFC Championship game. And depending on if Dallas, if Dallas get the matchup with the Giants, you know, it's highly possible that Atlanta could be having the NFC Championship at their career if, if they can win the division round. And that's possible. Like I said, the offense they got, um, you know, can damn sure move the ball. We saw that clearly today. Um, Devontae Freeman, that boy is just something crazy. Uh, Matt Ryan, he playing, you know, at a Pro Bowl level this year. Um, you know, so I'm not going to tell them good luck because I want them to get beat first round. But I'm just telling you the facts. You know how it's looking right now. The way it's looking, these niggas could be representing the NFC. You know, and thanks to us, when you give somebody an extra game, you know, shit can shit can happen, man. You know, all these teams that's in the in the postseason, you know, shit shit can happen. If we'd have let them been playing next weekend, shit could have happened, man. But now we just we we just made them. Rest one week, and now they just an inch closer to, you know, playing out in Houston. So, basically, man, I'm just, whole season just been tired. But before I get in all of that, man, you know, like I said, um, you know, Sean J, y'all boys, man, I know y'all boys turned up. Um, respect to y'all. You know, I hate your team, but, you know, it's only a couple of y'all that's, you know, that bring it, you know, you know shit about your boys, you know. You're not on here for, you know, trying to make yourself something on YouTube. You know, you got something going in your lives, you know. I believe so. Um, but like I said, man, keep repping y'all's team. Um, you know, I'm going to be rooting against y'all, but, you know, that's just part of being your vision. Rivals, man. I know I never, I hate it watching Carolina. And I hated that team the most because 
um, I live in the fucking Panther country and I just send all this bandwagon shit, all these parties and shit in my zone and shit. But, um, anyway, like I said, man, hopefully I see y'all lose in two weeks, but, you know, y'all deserve the division, you know, I will say that, you know, y'all deserve the division. And even if we would have came back and won that game, I still would have been in this same mindset. You know, I just would have been giving us credit for, you know, not laying the egg, coming back, fight hard. Even though we fought back today, man, um, you know, we still lay the egg, honestly. You know, I know Matt Ryan and them was still in the game. You know, we still made a comeback, but we still folded, man. Um. That game, I mean, I ain't going to say it shouldn't have gotten like that, but the way we was playing, you know, at the start of the game, you know, y'all just busting out moves like that, man. That That's just straight ridiculous. But, um, that's, that's that, man. Um, like I said, I'm tired, man. Um, I'm happy our season is over because I'm just tired of the disappointments and stress and shit, you know, um. Uh, now we just got to look forward to another offseason, man. Um, during this time, man, I usually just be hyped, you know, because the Saints about to get in the playoffs. But, you know, um, we at a stall right now. This is third consecutive 79 season. The third consecutive 79 season. It's unacceptable. And all this Sean Payton stuff, even though, you know, we can say that Tom, I mean, I, I honestly believe Tom Benson or Mickey won't get rid of Sean Payton, but, you know, you can't never question what Sean thinking. If if Sean want to walk away, they going to let him walk away. And I honestly don't know what the fuck he want to do. You got all kind of, you know, you got the Chargers. They, back, they just fired their coach. They about to go out there to L.A. I mean, it's, I mean, it's all type of. You know, hot spots, and they not hot, but you know, he he can he can start something out there in L.A. The Saints wasn't hot either when he came to the Saints. You know what I'm saying? So, just saying, I mean, just once again, I mean, he's under contract with us, but all these coaches that got fired was under contracts today. Chip Kelly, he didn't have no one year deal; he had a multi year deal, and he he currently don't have a job. So we'll see if Sean wants to stay or not. But if it's in the hands of Mickey and Benson, you know, that's not even no question that he's going to come back, you know, at least another year. So, um, but that's that, man. Um, I said, I'll get back on here next week, you know, sum up the season, you know, kind of see what they're saying about, um, you know, this Sean shit. You see what basically he, he got to say about it. You know, I think he's going to be back, but you never know, man. You know, it looked like they just quit on him. It looked like they quit on him at the first of the game. That's what I was getting like. It's no way. And the way our defense done improve and they doing that shit, that's, that was the first impression, man, that these niggas ready to hang it up. They just done quit the season and shit. But then we ripped it back up in the second half. Thank God, because, you know, we just pussyfied out there today. But anyway, it's over. Season over. You know, um, now, you know, I get to, you know, just worry about the offseason shit. You know, just watch the playoffs. See, see who going to be the, the champions. Hopefully it ain't the Falcons, but. You know, if it is, then um, we had a chance to, you know, have a say in that, and we and we didn't we didn't say shit about it. They smacked us the fuck around. That's basically what it came down to. It's your boy CBL mouth.